Okay, we're doing one take, and one take only. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to be unlocking Graplocked. Now, Graplocked is a... <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I already did this video for the Patreons uh, last week, but I have to keep it real with you guys uh, in the case of Graplocked. Graplocked is a bad Pokemon. It is so, so bad. Like, let me let me go over the stats real quick. Let me go over the stats. Where'd I put this team? Uh, VGC 2020, or no, it was Battle Stadium Doubles. I don't know where I put it. Where are you, team? Here it is. So, look at the stats. It's got 80 HP, 180 attack, 90 defense, 70 special attack, 80 special defense, and 42 speed. Now you might say, oh yeah, this is a this is clearly a good Pokemon for Trick Room. However, Conkeldur exists. Conkeldur's bulkier, hits harder, and is also a pure fighting type. So what does what does Graplock have for us? It has Octolock. That's it. So we're gonna be able, we're gonna be uh, using this team uh, around Octolock Graplock. It's specially defensive for reasons that I'll get into in a second. But if you guys could do me a favor before we get into everything, go ahead leave a like on the video. Let's shoot for 200 today. I really appreciate all the support we've been getting recently. We're growing like crazy. I feel like we're well on the road to 20k. And I'd really appreciate hitting that before um, before the end of the year. So yeah. Uh, also, subscribe, turn on notifications, do whatever you want. Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, also comment down below what Pokemon you'd like me to unlock next. With the hashtag unlocked, of course. So, uh, grab locked. It's really slow. Uh, personally, I feel like this thing would have been actually viable if it got unburdened. Even with that low speed, it'd be able to boost its, like special defense or defense whichever seed you want to put on it uh, and also get twice as fast and that would allow it to get behind substitutes easier it would allow it to octolock easier and then you can just stall out with dream punch protect whatever you want and it's it's a really nice like pokemon then but no we're going just full special defensive uh, with the sassy nature minus speed uh, and the ability limber instead of technician because there's no reason to run technician uh, limber actually gives us the benefit of being paralysis immune Next up, we have Beery Berry uh, Comfey. Comfey is running Triage with Trick Room, Floor, Healing, Draining Kiss, Giga Drain, just max physical defense. Make sure we take, uh, we are able to take a steel move and support things like our Assault Vest Gudra here. Uh, Gudra has Breaking Swipe, Power Whip, Super Power, and Stomping Tantrum. I might swap out something for Iron Tail at some point just to help me deal with fairies a bit better. We have no way of hitting fairies for super effective on this team. Uh, along with that, it would help boost up uh, the defense of Gudra as well as Graplock, who is a Pokemon that's going to want to be sitting around for a while. We have Dusclops with Eviolite, Frisk, Trick Room, Nightshade, Pain Split, Will O Wisp, Physical Defensive, and we have Life Orb Primarina. Uh, this is actually really like it pairs pretty well with Graplock. They just have this energy where. Um, Graplocked is able to lock things in with Octolock, lowering their defenses each turn, uh, making it so they can't switch, which is really cool for getting a Hyper Voice off as well as a Parish Song. Uh, the only thing is, because we're running Hyper Voice and Protect, we need Protect to actually uh, stall out turns of Parish. Um, I, I can't run a Water move when I'm Dynamax, so uh, there are going to be situations where I have to Dynamax my Prune Arena and we actually can't click a Water move, but I just feel like Protect is so, so useful that I can't go without it on this team. And finally, uh, we just have a Citrus Berry Regenerator, Moongus Special Defensive. This team I've already used, and to decent success, so I'm feeling pretty good about this session. I'm also on the wrong account. Let me go ahead and get on Moxie, hashtag unlocked, and uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. I'm excited to film this one for you guys finally, because the patrons loved it. The patrons loved it. By the way, you get an extra video by supporting me on Patreon uh, at the end of every week, uh, if you decide to do that. Link in the description. But yeah, they already love this team, so let's go ahead and get into it. It's going to be a fun time. Hopefully there are still people playing this format. I know a lot of people have moved on to team testing for Series 7, and Battle Stadium Doubles isn't the funnest format right now because Series 6 rules are kind of garbage. But yeah, we do find a game. And this team... Hmm. I feel comfortable leading off with Graplocked, actually. The only thing is we don't have any way of hitting ghost types with it. They lose hard to Gudra, so I suppose I could just go Gudra on the lead. Um, let's do this. We can honestly just do Guja Comfey on the lead, and I want to bring Graplock to the first game, so I guess I guess we have to wait for the Graplock, I suppose, you know? Uh, um, I can't really afford to lead off Graplock here, just because the redirection with the Moongus is so good, and so is Primarina, so this is going to be a game carried by Gudra. Gudra's just way too good. But yeah, no, uh, I feel like this team has a lot of potential for Series 6 in particular. I don't see Graplock being too good in future formats. 
It's it's already such a weird Pokemon because the entire point of this team is locking things in and then one-shotting them with Primarina once their defenses are like butter. So like there's just no point. <laughs> there's like no point in um, running it in future formats because it doesn't do anything else. Okay, uh, Seismitoad cannot one-shot me unless it's physical, which I I, I doubt, man. Um, let's see if they decide to Dynamax here and throw the game away. So we'll go ahead and we'll Giga Drain our, our Gudra and give us plus one attack because of the Sap Sipper ability. And yeah, they're going to Dynamax and throw away this game. Unless you're running like Ice Punch, you're not KOing me. And I'm going to one-shot this thing. There's the Max Quake. Ooh, nice special defense boost, my guy. Nice special defense boost. But um, yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm good. I don't mind losing that already, to be honest. <laughs> Their Dynamax is down. They've lost. <laughs> I, I still have my Gudra up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll send out the Amoongus. Yeah, there's the Jolteon. I don't care, really. Um, I should get rid of Jolteon first, since we have a better chance of winning if that thing's gone. I'll go ahead and I'll Max Quake it. Uh, and I may actually just go ahead and not redirect. I might just go for the Pollen Puff in case it is Focus Sash, which is typically the item you want to run on this thing, if not Life Orb. Yeah, I don't really have a response for this team. Gang. <laughs> Gang, dude. <laughs> I love how you just responded that way, gang. GG. Okay, I guess uh, we can go ahead and look for the next one while he, uh, while he forfeits there. Uh, amazing, amazing. So we got our first win because uh, Gudra just carried. And ooh, okay, this is an interesting Sun Hyper Offense team. I'm, I mean, they could be Self Surf on the lead, which would be annoying. I think what I'll do here is I'll lead off with Grab Locked and Amoongus and hope to catch the Self Surf. Or maybe I don't do that at all. I mean, we wall them with Gudra in the back, but I, I really just want to bring Graplock. This might be a throw, but I want to use it, man. I feel like we're not going to get to use it. Um, unless, like, because this thing is mainly for Lapras teams. It, it, it destroys Lapras teams. This team is really hard to lose against. Or it's really hard to, to lose against uh, G-Max Lapras with this, because Graplock just walls that for days. Um, in the back here, I suppose we can bring Comfe. I'm going to try to bring Graplock, though. It might not be optimal. Okay, yeah, we uh we have lost Grap Locked. In fact, we probably just lost this game. Uh, because I'm not running Koba Berry. And we get one shot by Braviary, so that's that's not good. Um, we can attempt to protect here and get in the Comfe. And then I can go for a side draining kiss into my Gudra and hope I don't get one shot. Yeah, uh, the Braviary kind of messes us up on the lead because I can't Octolock it. It'll just the thing about Octolock is it's gonna lower its um, stats and it's gonna get plus four attack like in one turn. So if we actually in two turns, if you Octolock a Braviary, it's gonna get maximum attack. So that's not anything we want to mess around with. Okay, okay, that's fine. So they Brave Bird into the Comfe. I can live with that um, because what I can do here is I can go into Gudra. And I can Giga Drain myself. And hopefully they just go for a grass move into the Grap Locked. I don't know if Leafeon gets Sleep Powder. I think it gets Sweet Scent. I remember seeing some kind of combo with like Sweet Scent plus Hypnosis. I would Trick Room here, but I'm likely not going to get it off anyway. So I'd rather just try to get in Gudra as safe as possible. And if Comfe somehow survives this turn, that's honestly amazing. And I think plus two max Wormwind may do it to Braviary if it Dynamaxes. The only thing is if it doesn't, we're gonna give it plus one attack, which is horrible for us. All right, come on, grass move. There's the Iron Head, so they should have gone for the grass move into the uh, Gudra. As, oh, just, hey, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Okay, um, I mean, yeah, I don't think they're gonna Dynamax this thing, so we'll max Wormwind and we'll also just go for another Giga Drain. As they protect. Um, that's fine. If we survive this turn, we can just KO it with Giga Drain. Or with a Draining Kiss. So we're going to give him plus one. Uh, I don't think I mind that too much. I'll go ahead and I'll just do it again. Since it's going to KO. Actually, how much should we do? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna live regardless. I'll actually bring in the Amoongus here to make sure it survives the turn. And then, or to make sure that Comfy survives this turn and we can heal up Gudra later. So I guess that's a pretty good use of it. Or actually... <sighs> I'm sorry, Grap Locked. Get in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bro, they didn't... They could have Dynamax Nat, honestly, put in some work. Okay. So, good call by them. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll just take this opportunity to Overgrowth into it. He doesn't have too many switch-ins. I could also Octolock into the uh, Leafy on here. 
I, I mean, hmm, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just overgrowth into Primarina. It'll KO. I'll protect. I'll play it safe here. I think plus two overgrowth will always KO Primarina. Okay, Dynamaxes. We're Assault Vests, so we eat whatever. There's the Starfall. It does 30%. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so I think we win. Uh, I don't think he has much of a way of getting out of this situation. Now, his Leafeon's at minus one. Uh, we have plus two Gudra with Breaking Swipe. So we can hit both of these Pokemon and lower their attacks. Uh, the only thing is I have to, I have to get rid of that Braviary if I want to win. So I suppose... I can just Breaking Swipe and Drain Punch into the Braviary. If he decides to Brave Bird any of these things, he'll lose his Braviary. Oh, we close combats. Didn't even go for the uh, for the better move. Okay, hopefully Drain Punch KOs, because I actually might lose now. <laughs> we got the... <laughs> Thank you, Graplox. Thank you, Graplox. You're the GOAT, man. You're the GOAT. Okay, so how do I get my boys in here safely? I suppose what I could do is send in Comfey... I have to, like, win with Amoongus and my other boy. Alright, we're special defensive here. Um, I think I can win with Amoongus. I'll attempt to Trick Room. I don't really need this thing. Or actually, I guess I should try to break a Sash on that thing if possible. We'll Drain and Kiss into it. We'll get an Amoongus. Uh, I don't want to have that defense drop. It'll make it easier to beat Leafeon in the endgame. And I am specially defensive, so with Leafeon at minus one and me at max HP, I should be fine. Um, and with the redirection, like, we only have to really worry about Hyper Voice. Get a little bit of health there. We're likely going to lose our Comfey, though. All right, cool. And uh, yeah, Healerlisk does not like dealing with Graplock, so we can just Rage Powder away the hit. And actually, no, here's my play. I protect, and I just go for the Spore onto the Healerlisk, because he's just going to go ahead and ignore my Rage Powder and try to get a crit with a uh, Leaf Blade onto my Graplock, so I should be fine just to attack here. There's the Hyper Voice. We eat that up, get our Citrus Berry, Leaf Blade. Put that boy to sleep. Ah, yes. Okay. Um, and I suppose now I can just Octolock this thing and uh, click Pollen Puff into it. He's not going to KO me with Leaf Blade. It's it's a really weak move coming off of this thing. Okay, that's not good. Hello. Well, he got the crit. Uh, that's that's not good. I think I can beat Heliolisk 1v1. I need to stall this out. Man, does Pollenpuff go through Protect? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. I can't remember. I think from this range, it'll KO. I need Heliolisk to stay asleep. He woke up. I need this thing dead. Ah, things aren't looking good for us. Let me try to get the double Protect. Man, that, that crit was really annoying. Yeah. Um, I should just attack here. I don't really need to put Healist to sleep. I think. Maybe I do. Alright, yeah, we fail our double protect. We're not going to live this combination of moves. <sighs> Dang, I think we lost. I mean, Hyper Voice probably does it. Dang, that's kind of annoying. Leaf Blade crit. As soon as we face one of like the 90 G Max Lapras teams in the ladder, we'll pick up a win with Graplock being the MVP. Let me go ahead and start to find the next game. He's really taking his time picking the one move he should pick. Okay, I don't know what this is. Someone else is trying to unlock some stuff on the ladder. That's probably Moody on the... Uh... Am I going to win from Forfeit? Or did he just go FK? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Um, I, I mean, I might be able to win. Probably not. I need to crit like twice. Pollen Puff. Pollen Puff. I need to crit this one. Nah, good game. Alright. Yeah, I have no idea what this team is. Um, it doesn't have many answers to Gudra though, so I suppose we can just lead off that way. Gudra Comfey is perfectly fine. They can't redirect away my hit. 
Uh, this time around, we should always bring around Primarina, and I think Amoongus is the best option here. I'm surprised we're not running into, like, any Lapras yet. Lapras is so common on Series 6 ladder. Like, it's, it's actually kind of weird. Alright, there's the Braviary. Um, he can't redirect this hit. Hmm. He can redirect away my, my Gudra's hit, though. He's probably going to Brave Bird. I could trick him up. I could trick him up. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Do I max Quake yet, or do I just go for a regular attack? Because I don't want to get Pre-Marina in, in on, a, on a Brave Bird, but I suppose better than nothing, you know? All right. As they Dynamax, hopefully that's into Comfy. They follow me. They max Phantasm. Um, hello, sir. I don't know what that's about. But uh, I'll gladly take this opportunity to uh, reverse sweep you. I mean... Dang. Like I said, I can't click a water move right now. Hyper Voice. Dang it. Uh, let me get in Amoongus here. We're probably going to lose Primarina. But at least the Trick Room's up. Going to get a bit of damage off on both of these guys. Is he max Phantasms again? Interesting. Alright, well... This is fine. Um, I, I literally don't mind losing Primarina here. I can put this thing to sleep. I'll try to put the Braviary to sleep, but it's like they're just going to follow me away the hit. I don't know why they're playing this way. I mean, their team makes me think they might be a bit of an, uh, a bit inexperienced. Are they safety goggles? Alright, well, they're not too inexperienced then. Yeah, I, I live because that's non-stab. And now Braviary just goes down because I can Hyper Voice, and I'll actually just Pollen Puff myself. Because if he Brave Birds, he loses Primarina. Or he loses, um... Oh my god. <laughs> he redirected it. The mad lad. Okay. I was going to say, um, if... I don't remember what I was going to say. I, I have literally no idea what I was going to say. Okay, so there's the Octillery. He already wasted his Dynamax, and I win with Max Overgrowth. So we'll go ahead and we'll just Overgrowth and Spore into the Rhydon. I'm not concerned about Octillery because we can't miss it. Alright, there we go. That's, uh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, let me max overgrowth you again. And I will put you to sleep now. I wonder if he's running speed on his ride on. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I was really thinking about it. I mean, Octillery is an interesting Pokemon. Like, it... <laughs> I mean, all it really does is get moody boosts and not much else. I know it gets Sniper as an ability, but it's not its not the best Pokemon. Alright. I want to face a Lapras team. More than anything, Lapras is like the team that we need to face here. Because Gudra's been carrying. I want to get this, uh, I want to get this win with the, uh, with the Grab Locked. Okay, uh, so we have Surf, Shenanigans, as well as, I would say Beat Up because he has a Doug Trio and a Weavile to beat up things, but there's nothing here that wants to get beat up. Um, honestly, Graplock looks pretty good. Graplock also has a positive matchup against uh, Ferrothorn and a lot of his teams, so I might actually just lead off that way. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. I'll lead off Graplock Comfe. That seems to be the easiest way to get off the Trick Room here. Um, bit concerned about a Taunt, which is why I'm not leading off Dusclops. Uh, Gudra in the back seems nice, and I think Primarina is fine as our final Pokemon. Okay, I am like 100% certain he's going to Sleep Powder something. And it's probably going to be Comfe. But I can't switch out. I'm going to try to... Hmm, I can try to Trick Room. I'll substitute up. Or actually, I should Octolock Roseraiden. Actually, let's just Octolock the Duck Tree one. And we'll Trick Room up. It's, okay, okay. alright. Well, he's Hazard Stacking. So that's so that's something, I suppose. Um, yeah. I, lower Ladder is really interesting. There are a lot of newer players. Hazard Stacking isn't exactly meta within VGC because it's just unreliable. The amount of switching you do in VGC is incomparably small compared to the 
amount of switching you do in singles. So that's the reason you don't really see it. Oh, that's fine. Um, that thing's octo locked in. And I can just go, let me just go Gudra. Gudra's fine, I can Dynamax him. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll Breaking Swipe and Octolock. Because it'll hit both of these in case he decides to ally switch again. I'm not going to Dynamax quite yet. He might go for a Grass move. <laughs> he might try to like, <laughs> I don't know. Like there's like no reason to go for a Grass move in a Gudra, but it'd be pretty, it would be pretty funny. All right, so we're going to get rid of that Doug Trio. Oh, okay. Well, there was literally no reason. You have poison moves. I should really... I mean, here's the thing. Like, I want to get on a higher ladder account for this series, but my higher ladder accounts for, like, serious laddering, and unlocked is not the most serious session. <laughs> okay. Um, I can go ahead and just drain punch in Breaking Swipe, and he's not Sash, so it doesn't matter. Uh, this should do a lot, though. Like, even the Breaking Swipe is going to be doing a decent amount. He is not surviving this. Yeah, no. Weavile has garbage defenses. And, uh, yeah, he doesn't really have a way of winning here. I just want to face... I just want to face one Lapras. One Lapras so I can Nene on it. This is actually the reason Octolock is really good against Ferrothorn. Uh, let me go ahead and just superpower in Octolock. As he Leech Seeds. Yeah, they're, they're obviously pretty new to the game. Uh, I can just Drain Punch and give the win to... Our boy Graplock, he earned it. Okay, this is a bit more of a standard team. Uh, not one with a good Graplock matchup, though. Graplock is literally just Lapras, but we're not facing any for some reason today. Hmm. I suppose Gudra isn't terrible here, but I, I wouldn't want to lead off with it. I'll go ahead and I'll go Comfe and Primarina on the lead with Gudra in the back. I think my last Pokemon has to be Amoongus. Okay, so this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, they probably are trying to Tailwind up here and remove my Comfy, but I always live. I always live this attack, and they should be going for a Grass move. So what I'll do here is I'll try to call them on one-shotting the Comfy, and I'll Trick Room since I can live with the Babiri Berry, and I'll go into my Gudra on the Grass move, hopefully. Yeah, I and mean, we pick up a win there. There's the Brave Bird. Ooh, okay. Brave. Very brave. We get our Trick Room off though, but uh, it isn't too great because uh, we are still facing down a Delmize. Let me go for a Floor Healing here. Um, and I suppose my best play would be to... Hmm. I mean, I'm not slower than the Delmize and I don't want to take the max move. I can probably one-shot the Braviary. And I think I can take one max move if I'm Dynamaxed and have some health back. Alright. There's the Poltergeist. Ooh, okay. We're going to lower that attack, and we're going to be able to heal off some of it. Yeah, Delmai is a scary man. There's the Clefable. Uh, I don't mind that, really. Let me go ahead and go for another floor healing out of the Gudra. And I suppose my best play would be... He's going to redirect the hit anyways. I don't want to... Mm, I'll, I'll max Overgrowth, or max Quake, because I don't want to give this thing uh, any kind of boosts. Ah, he crits me. Ah, dang it. Okay, well... Not certain if we can play our way out of this one now. Because Amoongus doesn't have the best matchup versus this thing. How do we do this? Yeah, I think we just lost, so we'll go ahead and we'll forfeit there. That crit was a bit unfortunate. We would have been able to uh, survive that hit uh, and hit him back for some pretty decent damage. Okay, interesting. Blastoise, Rotom, Chandelure... Um, I mean, they're likely Shell Smashing, and they get hard walled by, by Gudra in this game. Why does everything get walled by Gudra? Why is, it, why is everyone just playing things that get walled by Gudra? Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll lead off Gudra then. Gudra Comfey seems pretty fine. Uh, I can bring the Graplocked in the back just for the sake of culture, you know? We are the Graplock culture. I want to... I just... Let me let me face a Lapras, guys. Let me, let me face a Lapras already. <laughs> Alright, and I think my last Pokemon... Uh, it's either Primarina or Amoongus. I think I prefer Primarina. Yeah. Okay. So, if he Shell Smashes here, he's lost. He could be Choice Scarf, I suppose. I'm just going to Trick Room. Max Overgrowth. Uh, his Rotom doesn't actually benefit from it at all. Because it's levitating, so... 
He Volt Switches. Ooh, his Weakness Policy. Tell me you targeted into my Gudra so I can just win. Because uh, Max Hailstorm will not do it. Yep. Okay, so I get my Max Overgrowth off. Does a solid chunk of damage. Trick Room up. Uh, now my now my attack is actually boosted. Giga Drain is boosted now. So what I'll do here is I'll Max Quake into the Blastoise as well as... Uh, I mean, I could Giga Drain. I could just Giga Drain myself. We'll do that. It's not like you can put Gudra to sleep. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll get my Max Quake off onto the Blastoise now. And that will KO from this range, I believe. Actually, there's no reason to. I'll just Max Wormwind. His entire team is special attackers, though. I think plus one Max Quake from this range will do it. And uh, I suppose we can attempt to Giga Drain ourselves again, but it's not really... <laughs> there's like no chance we're waking up. Rotom? That's fine. I mean, you wasted your Dynamax, and I'm in a really good spot. So I will Breaking Swipe to hit everything, and I'll go ahead and I'll just Giga Drain myself again, hopefully waking up. Because he's not going to be doing much damage to Gudra here. I guess I should be uh, pretty cautious of a possible Sludge Bomb on the Amoongus. Or maybe a Clear Smog, but I feel like he would have clicked it last turn. There's the Rage Powder. I do not care. Let me hit both of these. There's the Volt Switch. Uh, I mean, he wouldn't be Specs if he's running Blastoise, so... I mean, and also it's doing, like, no damage at all. Okay. Here, I can just Breaking Swipe again and go for another Giga Drain onto my Gudra. He doesn't really have a way around this. And if I wake up this turn, then... <laughs> then I'm set. I can literally just, um... I can just heal up my Gudra next turn. Let's see if he spores me. He just goes for the Giga Drain, which means Gudra's gonna get back up to full health. Uh, we'll go and we'll Breaking Swipe once more, go for a Floral Healing, get me back up to full. And I think, uh, I don't think he really has a way of winning. Like, Gudra just hard walls this entire team. I guess it doesn't wall Braviary, but... Or not Braviary. I guess it doesn't wall the uh, Town Flame, but it's not like that was really the biggest of concerns. It has very, very little damage output. Alright, that'll pick up the KO there. Uh, what's your last Pokemon? Hopefully a Special Attacker. Let me send in Graplock for the Culture. Ooh, okay. Something Graplock actually does pretty well against Duraldon as well. We'll Breaking Swipe here, and I'll actually just Octolock the Duraldon. Maybe I'll be able to pick up a win with uh, Graplock after all. Maybe he'll just one-shot Gudra here. That would almost be ideal, so I can win with Graplock. Dark Pulses. Not sure that was your biggest priority, bud. Alright, that's going to be doing a lot. As I Octo... Oh no, I flinched. Wait. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I flinched from the Dark Pulse. You gotta let Graplock do something. Can I face a Lapras team, please? Just Lapras so I can destroy it. I have one wish, and that's to face Lapras. Okay. So. Hmm. That thing doesn't want to get Octolocked. Or I don't want to Octolock that thing because it'll actually just completely destroy me. This looks like Stall. Is the man playing Stall on VGC? Um, I'm gonna do something I don't usually do, and if I load up a Lapras game, I'm gonna I'm gonna face that because that that is uh, <laughs> uh yeah, I don't want to play this one. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real, guys. I don't want to play that one. That one doesn't look fun. Okay. I just want to. I just want to win with Graplocked. I'll lead off Graplocked here. I'll bring the Comfe, the Gudra, Pre Marina, the whole nine yards. Like I'm just disappointed that like. Tell me in the comments how many G Max Lapras teams have you faced in the ladder? A lot, right? It's it's either G Max Lapras or like Hyper Offense Porygon stuff. I have not gotten a single one today. <laughs> Okay, there's Graplocked. Um, it's likely he's just going to set up a Tailwind and try to knock out Comfe. I'll just Octolock here. Or actually, there's no reason to Octolock. Do I have to Dynamax? If I Dynamax this freaking Graplocked, I swear. You are not my Dynamax target. Oh. Thank you. 
If I have to Dynamax this grab blocked, I swear to God, dude, I, I don't want to do that right now. I really don't. I suppose he would lock himself into a move. He's probably going to taunt the Comfe. Uh... Screw it. Dynamax and the grab blocked. It's one of those games. Okay, and we'll switch in Primarina to take a nice move. There's the Tailwind. As it misses the Primarina. This might one shot. Yeah, okay, so Grap Locked. We're unlocking him. He is doing a thing. I, this isn't what he's supposed to do, but dang it, he's doing it. He really do be doing it today. He really do be done diddly doing them. Uh, let me go ahead and max Knuckle into Talonflame in case it's Sash. It, they're not Sash. Okay. I'll max Knuckle into Primarina, and I'll go ahead and I will... Actually, Parasong might be my win condition, so maybe my priority is removing this Talonflame. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna target down Talonflame. We'll just Hyper Voice. If I can Parasong up, up next turn, I can win. There's the Will-O-Wisp. Hopefully he targets into Grapplock as well. Ooh, he Starfalled my Primarina. <sighs> okay, that's not looking great. He was Sash. Okay, so we actually got something out of that. And I have to play really carefully. There's the Diggers B. I mean, if anything here, he would be going for the for the move into Primarina. This is really scary. I think my play here is to max guard getting Comfe. Hope that we live. And then try to heal Primarina. Okay. We survived. I am especially defensive, but that is life orb, so we're not going to live this. Hmm. Dang it, this is so scary. Getting the Gujar here. Okay, alright. We're not in too bad of a situation. We should be faster in Primarina, so we can actually cut this thing's attack. I'll go ahead and I'll protect here. And I will Breaking Swipe. Is that my play? I, I honestly don't know anymore. I, I'm, I'm very scared. <laughs> I mean, it'll only really hit the, the Diggers B, right? And I suppose the true problem Pokemon is the Primarina. Uh, let me Drain Punch. Breaking Swipe. I don't know, this is scary. Okay. Okay. Well, he's going to bounce here. So, let me get in the Comfe. And I suppose I have to set up a Trick Room if I want to win. Let me Trick Room. Uh, I can go for the Power Whip onto the Primarina. He bounces. Tell me he didn't double. Okay. We can possibly win. It's, it's Popsicle now. Let me go for the floor healing onto my Primarina and we'll Hyper Voice. It should knock out Diggersby as long as it's not Assault Vest, but it's not because it's running Protect. Come on, Primarina. Live. Live, damn you. I just swore in a video I'm going to lose all my monetization. Oh, we... Oh. I think we win. Come on, Primarina. Come on, Primarina. Don't be Quick Attack. <laughs> He's going to have Quick Attack. He Protects. Get the one shot in the Diggers beat, and I think I'm slower. It's it's all up to speed ties. GG. It's all up to speed ties. Come on, Primarina. Come on, Primarina. Come on. Be slow. Be slow. Oh. He's obviously not slow. He would not be going for double protects if he was. Nice. Okay, so we picked up a win. And Graplock did... Guys, that is not what Graplock was meant to do. Uh, I'll go ahead and just edit in a clip of what Graplocked is supposed to do in in, in <laughs> at the end here. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice night. Bye. No letter. This is actually the sort of team Graplocked wants to be against because it, it just works so well versus Lapras in particular. That's that's the fun matchup. So we're going to bring Graplocked Comfey here. Uh, Primarina in the back and Gudra. This is the sort of matchup I actually like with this team. Alright, so 
what I want to do is I want to lock in that Lapras pretty much immediately. I want to just go for the, um, I want to go for the Octolock. And I'm going to attempt to set up a Trick Room. I might need to, like, make the, the spread just a little bit better on the, uh, on the grab lock, it would be nice if we could survive like a really strong physical move. I mean, it's got decent enough physical bulk. 90, max HP. Like it's it's okay, but like it could definitely be better what I'm doing with it. I, I feel like grab lock would be viable if it got unburdened, because then it, not only would it be twice as fast and be able to lock things in twice as fast, but also uh, it would just be able to, like, how, would, how do I say it? It would literally just be able to, let me octolock you. And, Get in the Gudra. It would just be able to um, function better, be bulkier because of like Psychic Seed or something. And then you'd be able to lock things in, get behind substitutes. And that's really all this Pokemon wants to do. That's really all it wants to do. If I lock in this Ferrothorn, he's going to be in a really, really bad spot. All right. Will-O-Wisp, he misses me. Not that it really matters too much. And now he's getting his defense lowered every single turn and he's stuck in here with me. His special defense is getting especially low. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get behind a substitute and get him pre-marina. And eventually he'll reach, he, he, he'll be going for like a body press here or something. He should not power whip ever. As he protects, I get my substitute up. He should be going for a burn as he trick rooms up and I'm perfectly fine with that. And this turn he should probably power whip or something. So I'll protect, and I'll get into Gudra. Is he Gyro Balls? Okay. Nightshades. And his defense is pretty low. Um, I should be able to... I almost want him to waste his... Uh... <laughs> I, I almost want him to waste his own Trick Room, but I kind of like the Trick Room as well. Um... I kind of want to Dream Punch, but it wouldn't knock out this thing from this from this range, so I'll substitute up. And I'll get in the Pre-Marina again. I see Nightshades breaking my sub. Substitute up again. And now this thing should be in range of a Drain Punch, and I can Protect. Or maybe not in range, because I have like no attack investment. Depends how defensive this thing is. There's the Gyro Ball, he doubles into Pre-Marina. Expecting me to protect there. Iron Barb's damage. Um, I think he's just gonna Gyro Ball again, which doesn't do too much to Pre-Marina. I think what I'll do here is I'll just Moonblast Dusclops, or mm, maybe not. I wanna get, I wanna be able to get my Parish Song off and lock something in. <sighs> Dang it. Um. And Pre-Marina is really, really good under Trick Room. I'll just Drain Punch again. I think Gudra is more important to winning, so uh, we'll Hyper Voice for damage. We take a bit of damage there, as he Willow is expecting to get the Gudra in. We're back up to nearly full. I'm just going to take some Iron Barb's damage on the Grab Locked. And if I can lock in the Slap Person Parish Song, I'd be pretty happy. There's the Lapras. Okay. Might be able to do this. He should target into Grap Locked. We'll Octo Lock and we'll Parish Song up. That's fine. That's fine. Let me Octo Lock this Lapras. And I will get in the Gudra on what I expect to be a not too terrifying move. I just have to Octo Lock something. Yeah, I, I don't think. Yep. Octolock it. Freeze dries me, doesn't do too much. Um, I just go for my protector and I can get in my comfy. Or actually, yeah, I should protect and get in comfy. Because he's going to go for another freeze dry and I have no switch ins to that. If I can remove Lapras, I'm not in a bad spot. And on this next turn, uh, I could just go for like a draining kiss. Because I think his last Pokemon's probably going to be the uh, Conkledor. So I might just Drain and Kiss into the Dusclops slot. There's that. Alright. We're going to Perish next turn. And 
Ooh. I think I give him my Gudra here because Primarine is a lot better. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to Drain and Kiss Conkeldur. That's fine. There's the Freeze Dry. Knocks out my, my boy. Um, ooh, okay. I think I can win. 45... 58, yeah. I, I couldn't have gotten in Primarina there. It would have been really risky. I'll go ahead and I'll Octolock the Conkeldur. And I will also go for the Draining Kiss on the Conkeldur because I don't think he can one-shot me with anything. Get a bit of health there. He's not weakness policy. Max Knuckle. Not going to be doing too much. Trick Room's up. And here... Like, I have priority on, my, on all my moves, and I'm actually faster than this Conkeldur. So what I'll actually do here is I'll substitute. <laughs> I'll substitute here, and I'll go for another Draining Kiss. Get my health back. Is he max Lightning? So that shouldn't knock me out because I'm max defense. Get our substitute up. He Pain Splits me. That's fine. And, ooh. Ooh, let me, let me Drain Punch you. And maybe I just protect actually. I think I think I actually need Primarina to beat the Dust Clops because I have to perish song. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna absolutely delete this Conkeldur from the field. Ooh, okay, you took that pretty well. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but uh, I think the Dream Punch will do it. Not quite, not quite, but uh, we are fine. We are fine. Drain Punch, he can't block the max Starfall. Unless he has Ally Switch, but I think we're still good, even if he does that. In fact, just to play it safe, I can uh, Drain Punch Dusclops and max Starfall. Actually, I Drain Punch the Conkeldur and max Starfall the uh, Dusclops to, to play it safe. GG. What a strange, strange team. Yep. <laughs> Alright, uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll... I mean, we, we just win now. I just get in my Primarina. Max Starfall. Parish Song. Draining Kiss. Well, actually, no. Uh, yeah, no, I just attack. I just double attack. Because two Draining Kisses will do it. Yeah, priority draining kiss. Um, I'll octolock myself, and I will draining kiss. Epic.